Hey friends, welcome to my channel. Today we'll be doing these five designs. I went ahead and just recorded doing each one and I promise they only take about five minutes. If you're interested, please keep watching. To start off, I went ahead and already got my nails prepped. I'm going to show you the different products I use in today's video. So we have the Savvy Land Gel Paints, the McCart Gel Polish, and then I also have the Beatles like Gel Liners. I did decide just to do black and white in today's video, although you can use absolutely any color that you or your client wants. For the first one here though, we're gonna do that like TikTok viral and like I've seen it everywhere. It's like a vertical French um, ombre and it's really, really stunning. It looks super hard, but it's really, really easy to do. Um, so doing it this way I think is the easiest, but of course you can use a line to blend out the middle. So what I do is I take my black and white and I kind of go back and forth between the two, just making sure that I like the blend in the middle. If you are going to do this method though, I totally recommend like wiping your brush off in between. So you'll notice here after I go in with the white and I like how it's blended, I'll show the brush and it looks clean. And it's because I wiped it next to me um, on my little towel that I have with a little bit of acetone. So that way it's clean and we're not cross contaminating the entire bottle of the white. So there we go. Um, and this is what it'll look like. You are gonna do two coats of that and this is what it will look like after you've cured 60 seconds in between the coats. Next, you're going to go in with the opposite color on top to create the French design. So on the black side of my ombre here, I'm putting the white portion of my French down. And then on the white side, I'm going to go ahead and put the black down. Now here is where it can be a little bit messy and that's totally fine because I do recommend you also having a brush on hand to clean up the smile line. So if you notice here, I'm going to go in and just kind of blend these colors out. I accidentally over blended and it turned it a little too gray um, so with it turning it too gray I went back in with that white and that black which you'll see in a second and kind of redefined that color you don't want to lose the blend you definitely want to keep it where it's distinguishable so the good thing is since you cured the base if the French isn't coming out right you can just wipe that away with a little like cotton free pad and some acetone and then just restart but it's super fast, it's super easy. Once you like the blend though, you are gonna take the smaller brush. So mine here just happens to be one I found on Amazon and I believe it's a UV gel brush. So it's rounded and it's a little bit easier to get in and make that smile line a bit better. And I just have a little bit of acetone and a dampened dish just off screen and I'm just putting it in and removing excess on the towel before cleaning up that line. Once it is to your liking, you're going to cure it and then you are pretty much done with that nail. So it's super easy. It looks a whole lot harder than what people think it is, but I promise even without it being sped up, it maybe took about seven minutes. So once you get used to doing it and especially if you're cleaning up like I am here, that's going to add a little bit of time, but it's super cool. Now moving on to the next design, I've already put down one layer of ombre that was white and black, just like we did with the vertical ombre French nail. But this is the second coat and I'm going to do the opposite color. So if you look, I just put the black over the white and now I'm putting the white over the black. So the difference between this one is you're gonna cure your first ombre layer and then when it comes in for your second one, instead of putting the exact same colors on top of each other, I did the opposite. And you'll see why we did that, but it creates a really cool like 3D illusion. So before we hear the second layer, this is still wet of course, I am gonna take a little bit of alcohol or you can use acetone on a brush and we'll be wiping away some of that wet paint. And this is gonna reveal the ombre that we've already laid underneath and cured. And it just looks super cool. It does look three dimensional. You can do pretty much any design. And next I'll show you a variation of how you can do this. But it's just super cool. And I mean, it's really fast. This one I probably didn't even have to speed up at all. It was under five minutes because essentially you're just wiping away product and that's all the work that you have to do. Um, the actual design itself comes from the different layers that you've already placed underneath and this second layer just being wiped away. 
but it kind of looks like woven in a way. If you want to do a variation of it, then that's what I'm going to show here. So instead of using gel polish, just because it's a little thinner, I'm going to go ahead and use my gel paint. This is a lot more beginner friendly because it is a thicker consistency since it's like a cream and it will make it easier for you to do your ombre without it getting really messy and like getting into cuticles or bleeding into each other. And repeating what we did previously, I'm going to take just a little bit of black and white and ombre them together onto the same nail. But rather than it being half and half, you're just going to go across the entire nail and just continue flipping the brush so that the corner that has the black goes into the white and so forth. So you just keep flipping the brush over. Um, and it does kind of take some time getting used to doing it this way and flipping the brush back and forth. But I promise the control is a whole lot easier with a thicker consistency. I went ahead and cured for 60 seconds though. And now I'm showing you the second layer. So we are repeating exactly what we did previously on that vertical ombre like 3D nail but it's just going to be with the paint. So your black is going to go over that white that was cured and then the white is going to go over the black that was cured underneath. So that way when you wipe it away you'll see the opposite color and it definitely looks like you did more work. Now I did purposely over blend just to show you how you can fix it with the gel cream. So here where I made it a little bit gray, if you notice I will take some of the white and just paint a vertical line down so that way it gives the illusion that it was actually ombre out and that's just the way to fix it. No one would ever even know that you messed up but the fun part is going in now and drawing your design. So the difference with this one is because the ombre has more, I guess, space, then you have a lot more black and white kind of in the picture and you can press harder on your brush or softer to make like bigger turns or smaller intricate lines. And here I just decided to do like a simple kind of serpent design. So just like little figure eights down the nail, but it just see, it looks super cool. So. That's another variation. It looks like you did a whole lot more work. I mean, even especially next to the one that we just did. But moving on to our next design. So this one I'm just doing on a clear nail so you can see how it looks. But this to me looks like granite. Um, so if you've ever seen granite and you can see like the bigger and smaller flecks of black and white, this is how I achieve it just in the easiest way. But again, you can use any color at all. So taking my striping brush or the liners that I have, I went ahead and painted the black lines down and then the white lines down. You don't want them to blend. You are going to take a little bit of acetone or alcohol and that same little UV brush and just kind of feather it down the nail. So this is going to disperse the color so that you can't see like the black and white underneath, but it's not going to be hard at all to get the design. I mean, that took what, two minutes? So <laughs> it's super easy. You'll cure it for 60 seconds though. Moving on to the next design that we're doing. This one is kind of like an abstract design. You can choose to fill in the little bubbles or the shapes that you're making, or you can leave them just open. So I have sometimes a client will just want just like I did there and different colors and it looks awesome. You can also just make it a little bit fancier by filling in the first bubbled shape that you make. And then you'll go in and just outline. And that little bit of a detail definitely makes a difference. So here, once you filled it in, you can leave it as it is, and that would totally be fine. Or you can do what I'm gonna show, which is going back in and just drawing that second line. Just by doing that, it makes it look so much more intricate. Um, if you are unsure how good, I guess, your lines are gonna be, or if you've had a little bit too much coffee that day, I recommend curing the first three bubbles that you filled in for 60 seconds, and then going in and adding this line. Or you can even add a different color just to make it pop a little bit more. That would be super cute on like a black base, maybe some pastel line work, like, I don't know. But definitely make these your own, have fun with them. And I promise no one's gonna call you out on these bubbles at all because, I mean, 
a bubble is a bubble. So <laughs> it's your design. And this is what that looks like. So again, super easy. Moving into our last nail though. This is with a white base and we've already cured it for 60 seconds. We're just gonna do a simple cow print. So on top of the white base, I just have my dotting tool. I have some black gel paint and we are just kind of haphazardly drawing in little bubbles, bigger bubbles, connecting them and filling them in. It's really just however you wanna do it. There is no specific cow print design. They ideally like here, I added a little bit more. They're just what you want them to look like. So no one is going to tell you that that spot is too big or this one is too small. I do think less is more. So leaving some of that background white space and not trying to cover it completely is, I would say, my biggest recommendation. But again, totally up to you and how you want your spots to be. Some people draw the spots a little bit bigger. Um, you can draw them more as blobs uh, instead of having like mine have I guess little arms that stick out or like they poke out a little bit more but yours could be a little bit more wavy and look like a water droplet it's totally up to you and your creation and what you and your client or if they're like for yourself whatever you want but this is super easy it's honestly a three minute design because it's just white underneath but you can have fun and change up the colors and just make it super cool and kind of include it at the very end though i go ahead and top coat all five of the nails just so that way we can protect our designs and you don't want to fill any of the layers at all i recommend doing two top coat layers but that's always what i do you don't have to do that. I just find that it does also add some strength to the nail, especially if it's a press on or gel X, you wanna add as much strength as possible. And if you're not gonna use a builder gel, using additional top gel is gonna help you with that. And once they are out of the lamp, this is what they look like. If you have any questions or if you liked something that I did, please leave it in the comments below. I love reading those. And any new subscribers, hey friend, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye.